Hi, I'm Tony Anscombe from ABG Technologies. Uh, today I'd like to introduce you to a couple of new features that we've put into ABG Internet Security 2014. One of them allows me to shred files on a permanent basis. Now, as we all know, when we delete things in Windows today, they move to the recycle bin, and of course we can restore them from the recycle bin and get them back simply. Now sometimes there's information, maybe a letter to your bank or maybe some financial information that you might want to delete and actually make sure it's deleted from your machine permanently. Uh, so that's why we've built this feature in. So if I go into Windows Explorer and I look for my files, you can see here I have a file called Bank Details in Word. Uh, if I right click on this file, I now have a new feature here, Permanently Shred with AVG. Uh, if I choose this, I will get a dialog just to make sure and confirm with me that I wish to shred this on a permanent basis. So if we click shred, as you can see, the shredding is complete, the file has disappeared, uh, and it's not located in the Windows Recycle Bin. Now what this is actually doing is overwriting the storage space that the file was using up and doing some other things to make sure that the actual file can't be reconstructed or put back onto the disk in any way. But it works to a lot of in industry standards that ensures that. The second feature that I wanted to call out today was uh, something called Data Safe. So again, about keeping your personal information private to you, whether you're sharing this machine with somebody else, or if somebody was to steal this machine to make sure that your, your data is in a secure and safe environment. So I can come into the computer and create uh, a data safe of my own, um, I need to give it a password. So for this instance, we we'll use test. And uh, as you can see, you can look at the password to make sure you've got the same. Uh, obviously, I'd recommend a far more complex password than I've used here. Uh, and the product is also telling me this password is weak. If I click on uh, next, I can have some options here. I can create a desktop shortcut to my safe. I can add it to the favorites of Windows Explorer. I can also choose the size. So for this uh, for this demonstration, I'm just going to create a small 10 megabyte safe. And uh, as you can see, there's a dialog box showing me uh, the creation. And now it's created, I can choose a, a drive letter that it will appear in. So when I open my computer, it will show me that drive that I can drop documents into. I'm going to choose S, S for safe. Uh, I need to re-put my password in and I can unlock my safe. And here we are, it's unlocked. So if I highlight it and I open the safe from here, you can see I have a Windows Explorer box like normal. It has a drive letter of S for safe. Uh, and I'm gonna move my letter to the bank across to my safe like so. I'm right clicking here so that I get the option to move it as opposed to copy it. It appears in my safe and it's disappeared from my desktop as you can see. Now if I want to lock my safe, because of course having your valuables in it, you then need to uh, lock it up. It's now locked. I can't access my safe uh, without actually putting in the password again. So if I wish to reopen it and take a look at my documents in there, I can put my password back in. And as you can see, my document is nice and secure in the safe. And nobody else without that password can actually get into my safe. So it's a nice and secure place to keep sensitive information. You know, things that may have bank details, bank accounts, social security numbers, anything with sensitive information, you know, the safe is a good place to keep it. So use AVG Internet Security 2014. There's a couple of new features in there that will help you stay safe and keep your personal information secure.